the capital of the large and beautiful state of California. Centrally located between the snowy mountain peaks and the roaring ocean. It is the home to roughly two and a half million people. In recent years, Sacramento has been rapidly changing, and its need for Christ-loving, gospel-proclaiming, and people-serving churches is as urgent as ever. The church is called to be the light and salt of the world, the light that shines brightly in darkness and despair, and the salt that prevents the decay and the decline of our society. Such degradation is evident all around us. The homeless population is growing while the number of intact families is diminishing. The inmate population is rapidly increasing as prisons are expanding. The divorce rates are rising as marriages are falling apart. In most cases, the primary victims of these statistics are children. Today, you will hear from one of the top foster agency leaders regarding opportunities where you can help. My name is Tiffany Leffler. I'm the director of a group called Defending the Cause Regional Alliance, and we're a network of agencies, nonprofits, and churches all over the greater Sacramento area that work together to protect kids and strengthen families. Um, we really believe in the church as the solution to families that are struggling or kids in the foster care system. Um, there's truly something everyone can do. Um, foster kids need to know that they're seen, that they're loved, um, that there's a support system out there for them even when their family of origin wasn't able to provide that. And so churches can wrap around foster kids by providing backpacks or resources to them through mentorship or just letting them know that they um, have a safe place to be. Foster and adoptive families could also use your support, and whether it's meals or transportation or the opportunity for parents to go on a date night, um, the church can really rally around um, the people on the front lines taking care of the kids in foster care or those that are adopted. And then social workers have given their professions to a really hard job. Um, dealing with the child welfare system and all of the hard stories with kids who've experienced trauma can be very challenging, and so churches can rally around social workers in our system as well through notes of encouragement, donuts, Starbucks gift cards, or anything you can think of. There's truly something for everyone when it comes to the church and foster care. Hi, my name is Donnie DeBolt. I'm the Director of Community Relations here at Lilliput Families. We are delighted to be able to collaborate with all of you thinking about our children in foster care. In the state of California, there are over 63,000 children in foster care as we speak. And in Sacramento County alone, over 3,200 of our children are in foster care. At Lilliput Families, we believe that every child has the right to grow up in a loving family that they can call their own. Permanency is so important for our children, and we can't do this without the help of others in our community. When Easter time comes, many of our families are thinking about having an Easter basket ready for their children. But many of our families that come together through foster care and adoption are what we call a kinship family, meaning that they're raising a relative's child. In California, over 60,000 grandparents are raising their grandchildren. And these are many of the families that will be receiving Easter baskets that you provide for us. You can imagine that finances are tight. Many of these folks were planning on retiring, and yet they have stepped up and are raising their grandchildren. And they will be so appreciative to know that members of the community like you are supporting them and um, encouraging them to continue on. So together, we will make the world a better place for our kids in foster care. And thank you so much again for collaborating with Lilliput Families. Thank you. Being Christ's body, we have a responsibility and an opportunity to care for these children. We can demonstrate the love of Christ as we bring to them the good news of the gospel. We can exert godly influence and lead them in the way of righteousness. If we do not fulfill our responsibility, the world and its evil forces will influence them in the path of destruction. There are many ways we as a church can serve our local community. One way to help foster kids and their parents 
is by demonstrating compassion and Christ-like love by meeting their needs and building relationships that will leave a lasting impact on their lives for the glory of God.